Club Express, Configuring People Options. In addition to the basic information that must be collected for all members, Club Express lets you configure additional commonly used data fields. Some clubs want to collect this information while others don't need it, so we made it optional. This video looks at the People Options page, where you can determine which of these fields are gathered, and there are also options that affect choices that you give to your user, such as how much of their information to display, and it also can set defaults for other modules, for example, how or if subgroup fees are presented when defining new member types. We're already logged into one of our demo sites as an administrator. To configure these settings, we start at the Control Panel's People tab, scroll down to the Setup section, and click on People Options. This screen has several sections. The first is about your primary members. The first option controls the default value when adding new member types as to whether the members join immediately through the website or if they must first be approved by the board of directors. Remember that this is a default and can be overridden for each membership type. For example, some associations have a special type for students at a reduced rate, but the member's student status may need to be verified before he or she is allowed to pay this rate. If you specify no, then members can sign up through the website, pay the specified fee, and become active on the spot. If you specify yes, then members can still sign up through the website. However, at the end of the sign up wizard before the payments page, the member is added to the database with a status of prospective. Admins can view a list and print a report of prospective members for review by the board. You then have the option of accepting the member, which changes the status to pending and invites the new member to log in and complete payment, which then changes the status to active. Or you can decline the application, which changes the status to dropped and sends a regrets email. The alternative address option controls whether a second block of address fields are made available. Some clubs have members who winter in Florida or Arizona, for example, or somewhere at a holiday house. Other associations use this option to track home address separate from the business address. If this option is enabled, the contact information screen provides fields for an alternative address, as well as the option of enabling this address for club mailings. There's a setting that we'll get to shortly that determines if people join through their personal lives or through their business or professional lives. If your members join through their personal lives, the Work Information option controls whether members can enter work-related information, including company, title, and work phone. Some organizations include networking as a goal and encourage members to help each other out in professional settings, while others are focused entirely on a hobby or interest and work contacts are inappropriate. Note that this option is ignored if your members join through their business or professional lives because an alternate, business-oriented contact information page is enabled. Some clubs and associations track sponsors for new members. Select this option to control whether a sponsor field is displayed during the sign-up process and on the contact information screen, and whether a name is required or optional. If the duplicate sign-ups allowed option is set to no, the system will perform a test after the first page of the membership sign-up wizard to see if the email address and first name combination is already in the database. If it is, the new member will not be allowed to create a new account, but instead will be directed to the login page to log into their existing account. If you want to track the gender of primary members, select Yes, and a gender field will be displayed on the contact information screen. The default genders displayed on the profile screen are female and male. If you want to add a non-binary slash other choice, please contact Club Express support and they can enable the feature for you. If you need or want to capture the primary member's birthday, this option controls whether the birthday field appears on the member contact info screen and whether it's required or optional. The chapter selection in the member profile controls how and if chapters can be changed in a member's profile screen. If you select none, it means that chapters cannot be changed during the membership term. Use the member and admin option if changing chapter assignments has no fee or other implications so members can join and leave chapters at any time. And use the admins only option if a member cannot change the chapter assignments during the membership term, but admins can. 
Note that Club Express does not calculate prorated fees for chapters, districts, and regions when these assignments are modified during the membership term. You can choose to notify chapters when members change. When this option is set to yes, the system will notify designated chapter coordinators when members join or leave chapters. This can happen in any of the following ways. When a member signs up or renews. When an admin makes changes to a member's status. When members edit their chapters from the profile screen. When prospective members are approved when a membership is activated after payment is received, when a non-member is converted to a member, or when a change is made by an automated process, such as membership expirations, dropping pending members, auto-renewal and payment, status changes, and sending welcome emails to bulk-loaded members. Check off which actions will trigger this, join, renew, leave, or expire and drop. One email is sent nightly for each chapter and to each specified chapter admin, listing all the changes that affect that chapter. If a chapter has no admin or an admin does not have a valid email address, no email is sent. When configuring the option whether to charge for changes made on a chapter's additional members page, you will take into consideration the fees linked based on the member type configuration, where you can set the chapter selections to something besides none and you can choose whether to allow secondary and tertiary members. The charge sales tax on membership transaction field is used to determine what, if any, sales tax you need to collect during membership signups and renewals. The options are no, or one of the active rates defined in the control panel's money tabs, sales tax rates page. Let's look at secondary and tertiary members. If secondary and or tertiary members are enabled for any member types, fields are displayed for their options. This screen will display the keywords that you've specified on the control panel's club options page. For example, some clubs may refer to secondary membership as spouse or partner and call tertiary members children. The same set of fields are presented for both secondary and tertiary members. For information level, Select Basic Info, which is name only, or Detailed Info, which adds address, phone, and work fields. You then decide if email address is required, optional, or not to be captured, and make the same choices for birthday. You can choose to capture gender or not, and whether to capture member relationship, which is a keyword indicating how the secondary or tertiary member is related to the primary. Spouse, child, parent, coworker, associate, etc. An extensive list of keywords is available. Next, specify if these members can be added outside of the sign up and renewal wizards. If this option is set to yes, members can be added at any time. If this option is set to no, members can only be added during the membership sign up and renewal process. Again, note that Club Express does not calculate prorated fees for secondary or tertiary members when they're modified in the middle of a membership term. So you will generally set these options to yes if there are no additional fees or no if additional fees need to be calculated. If the membership directory module is enabled, an additional set of options related to this module is displayed. The can members limit the information option controls whether members can limit what information is shown in the membership directory, including opting out of the directory completely. Some organizations require members to be fully listed. Note that this option is ignored for administrators. All member contact information is shown in the membership directory and in the member manager. If the option is set to yes, then a new option appears to control the default visibility for new members. When new members add themselves to the database, or when a new member is added by an admin, you can control that member's initial visibility in the directory. Note that the options shown in this drop-down list will be different based on whether the member joins through their personal lives or through their business and professional lives. There are fields that control whether the primary member's nickname, date of birth, spouse's first and last names, and date of birth, and wedding anniversary can be entered. Some social clubs, community service clubs, and homeowner condo associations track this information, and we've also provided a calendar report showing all of these dates.
and you can also specify whether the year is included in the membership directory display. Enable social networking links controls whether the member can create links in their profile to popular social networking services, such as Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. If you select yes, members will be prompted to enter their ID for each service. The system will then display that logo in the membership directory screen and clicking the logo displays the public profile page in the appropriate service. You can also choose to track member achievements. If set to yes, administrators will see a new achievements option in the member manager's profile screen, allowing them to enter achievements for the member. This option is also visible to members on their profile screen, but for them it's read-only. These achievements will appear on the member's bio page, and there are also a couple of reports listing achievements. This option is especially valuable for community service clubs where it's important to track a member's contribution to the organization over multiple years. Next, specify if you want to show or show and require emergency contact information fields. If enabled, Contact name, relationship, phone number, and email address will appear at the bottom of the contact information page. The next section is for miscellaneous options. The next member number field determines what number should be used for the next new member. If you leave this field blank, the system will automatically assign the next member number based on the last number currently assigned to a member record. For clubs or associations that serve one city or state only, the default member state option allows you to specify a state that's entered as a default. A none option is available for clubs where the setting does not apply. Set the notify membership director option to new membership only if the membership director should receive an email whenever a new member signs up, or new membership and renewals to send an email on both events. Define the membership director title and function in the control panel's title screen and then assign someone to this title on the control panel's contact screen, or set this option to no if a notification email should not be sent. You can configure Club Express to require an email address for members and for non-members. If the email address is not required, you can also configure the system to display a warning message that an email address is strongly encouraged because the club uses this channel to communicate with its members. Note that required email addresses are not enforced for admins. And you can optionally require a phone number for each primary and secondary member. There are two fields that deal with warning and dropping pending members. When new members sign up online, but before they pay, their information is stored in the database with a status of pending. If they pay immediately by credit card, their status is changed to active. But for members who don't pay immediately, their status stays as pending. They can still log in, but they must first go to the payments page to complete the payment. You can specify the number of days from sign up to wait before a warning message is sent to the pending members that they need to log in and complete payment. You can also specify the number of days from sign up before the pending membership is dropped. You can control who can receive a printed newsletter. Many clubs and associations are moving to digital newsletters that members can view online or download as a PDF to their local computers. Some clubs charge extra for a printed newspaper or allow members to opt out of receiving one in order to save the club some money. You can select from one of the following options. Not applicable to us. Or based on member type. This causes a new option to be displayed when configuring each member type. You can have types that do not include a printed newsletter and more expensive types that do. And members specify their choice. Selecting this option causes the new option to be displayed on the member's contact info page, allowing them to opt out of receiving a printed newsletter. Note that this option appears for primary members only, not for secondary or tertiary. The system assumes that clubs will only want to send one printed newsletter to a household. On the control panel's data export page, a special report generates a list of members who should receive a printed newsletter based on which options were selected. For example, if based on member type is selected, only members with a type that includes the newsletter are included. If members specify their choice is selected, only members who have checked the box on their contact info page will be included. 
And finally, people join some clubs or associations with their personal lives, their hobbies, or their passions or families, while other clubs and associations are professional or trade groups where people join through their business lives. Club Express includes two versions of the Contact Us page and the Member Directory page, one for each option. Specify the appropriate radio button to select which page should be used. Note that the screen will refresh when this option is changed because other options on the page are dependent on this setting. For example, the options available in the default visibility for new members field will be different. When you're done, click Save or Cancel to close the screen. So now you've seen the people options that let you specify optional data to gather, allow who controls directory visibility and what is displayed, and sets defaults for other modules. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.